magic. Magic. Welcome back to another week of delicious foods. Linda's struggling through life and crying during her workouts and eating too many pancakes. This week's topic is uh, the dreaded freshman 15. My biggest fear starting university wasn't the four hour exams, managing a full workload, it wasn't being friendless or being too hungover to function the next morning. It was the irrational fear of these 15 pounds of weight that was magically going to appear on my body the moment I stepped into school. But the worst part of it all was this freshman 15 fear left me with an unhealthy and obsessive mentality that I needed to do whatever it took to keep that weight off. And every year, the fear comes back. And every year, it never happened. Yes, I gained five or six pounds, but you know, our weight is always fluctuating. But that wasn't the case this year. This year, I gained 11 pounds. I was shocked. I didn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. And I guess this video is just me telling you what I did. Maybe we should first talk about why I gained the weight. We all go through periods of time where we don't work out as much, or we eat amazing foods past the point of fullness, and times when we prioritize our life in school and our jobs over our own health. But this wasn't what happened this time around. I truly just stopped taking care of my body. I wanted to work out, but I didn't think I had enough time. I was so stressed with school and YouTube, I slept for four to five hours every night, and I would just stuff myself before bed. I'd be non-stop bloated, and I felt sluggish throughout the day, and I just wasn't confident in my own skin anymore. Good morning, baby! Workout complete! Lily feels so good. Get your workout down in the morning. Crazy anxiety and stress. Like the loading circle. Oh, I'm nervous. Mommy, are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> this is what like a finished product looks like. I'm gonna do a quiz and then I'm going to do my lectures and then I'm gonna eat breakfast. Got it wrong. <gasps> yes. How did I get here? What did I do wrong? I can't believe I let myself get to this point. I'm ashamed of this weight. I'm embarrassed to film myself working out. They're all going to notice. These are all the things I said to myself when I stepped on that scale after weighing myself for the Chloe Ting challenge. It's hard to love your body when it changes. I want you guys to know, I totally know what it's like. Milo, what is your problem? You see, I know what it's like to jump on that scale in the morning and see that number go down 0.5 pounds and feel that instant high. I know what it's like to tell yourself you can't eat your favorite foods. What it's like to be so in control of what foods are going into your body, but also feel so controlled by food at the same time. But now I also know what it's like to ignore the numbers and embrace my body and its changes and how an increase or decrease in weight doesn't go hand in hand with the idea of success or failure. Whoa. Oh wow, it's so thick. Ooh, thick. Holy. It's just like ice cream. When you learn to let go of the weight and its hold on you and stop wasting time chasing after the next perfect diet or perfect body shape or pant size. When you learn to let go, it truly allows you to focus on your health, self-love, self-care, self-respect at whatever weight or size you may be. Mm, I so crazy. I realized how I perceived my body every day kind of impacts how I treated myself. If I gained weight, I would punish myself by restricting or overexercising and feeling so guilty. If I lost weight, I'd feel like I finally did something right. I'm not gonna lie and say I didn't consider restricting and dieting this time around because I did. <laughs> But I had to take like 50 steps back, remember who I was, what I'm proud of, remember all of you guys. Think about the message that I send and what I believe in. Think about giving up ice cream and beautiful beings and eating cookies with friends. And those parts of me outweighed that little voice in my head that told me I need to lose weight. And I've never actually been able to beat that voice in my head. I've never been able to not squish and poke at those extra parts of me that make me feel hopeless. I've always been embarrassed of my body because I'm told the way I look, how much I weigh, how much I eat is not allowed. But now I can confidently say food will not control me. My weight will not weigh me down. Weight loss is not a health goal and it's never been able to show me a true picture of my health. Unfortunately, diet culture has led us to believe that a changing body is a body that is a problem, which is why the freshman 15 has had so much power over me. So two months ago when I stepped off that scale and the guilt was beginning to attack me, I decided to change a few things that have ultimately helped me gain back all the confidence and lose the weight of guilt. You like it? More soup! Some of the best chips in the entire world! How are you walking up? <laughs> Yeah. 
more bean soup. It's like really good. Very good. So now I'm gonna be telling you guys my tips to myself for healthier living. This is kind of just what I told myself in order to love my body again. But before we get into that, I just need to say something. Caroline Gervin. Gerving. Gerv. I don't know, but okay, you guys, I am speechless. This woman is a beast. She literally has taken over my life. I'm a hardcore Lily Sabri fan, you guys already know, but Caroline may be tied with Lily. I don't even know. If you want to die, and I mean you can't walk for like the next three days, go to Caroline's channel and yeah, just be ready to look like this. So if I'm gonna be honest, I don't actually know if I lost any weight because after that, I never stepped on the scale again because after years of being tortured by this number, I realized you have to leave what doesn't bring you happiness. And not only did the number make me feel like shit, I don't believe that's how real progress is shown. Progress is a feeling, a change in mindset, a new perspective. Progress is being able to accept and move on. It's like, okay, ew, this is completely flat. Uh. It's improvements in your happiness, in your baking skills, in your pancake perfecting skills. Progress is slowly learning to accept yourself. Talented. I forgot to listen. I didn't eat when I was hungry. I ate because it was something to do while studying, something that made me feel better, something to distract myself. And if I'm gonna be honest, I will never stop doing that because you guys already know I love to stress eat, but I had to stop and listen and realize I don't always feel great going to bed stuffed, eating until my stomach hurts, waking up super bloated and uncomfortable. So I'll still eat when I'm not hungry. Like if someone's giving me a chocolate chip cookie, I'm going to eat it. But now I think about how my body feels and how it will feel before I stuff it with too many popcorn. <laughs> You can't do everything in life. You give and you take. And I was giving up my health and taking care of my body in order to prioritize YouTube and school. Because when I added up all the minutes in a day, there just wasn't any left to prioritize myself. But when I stepped on that scale, it was a wake-up call for me. Not to start dieting and restricting and shaming my body, but to be kinder to my body. And I realized that taking care of my body isn't something that should be at the bottom of my to-do list. So I decided to make some banana muffins today because there's no better way to use up black bananas. And after I made them, my Zoom decided to crash and made me miss my very important lecture. And this is why I hate technology. So I, I was stressing and cried and basically ate all the muffins to make myself feel better. And honestly, I don't regret it at all. Sometimes you just need six muffins to feel okay. Some mushrooms, fruit, and black stuff. I ate like six muffins today. I like it. Yeah. It kind of looks like a brain. I also realized I just need to freaking move. I started school telling myself you can't work out every day anymore because school is more important. But no, that is not how it works. And Linda without exercise is not a happy Linda. I know it's hard to make time to work out. I could spend it studying or editing or sleeping or eating. But sweating is honestly the highlight of my day and I took the happiest part of my day and threw it away. And that's not fair to me or my body or my sanity. So now I always plan even just 20 minutes a day dedicated to moving. It doesn't matter what it is or when it is. I just have to get off my butt and move. And after any workout, I never regret it. I also had to ask myself, what are healthy snacks? I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna continue to eat chips and chocolate and ice cream cake and do that because I don't like to label my foods as like good or bad or healthy or unhealthy. I think it's really bad for your mind and slightly rude to the foods. <laughs> but I do like to choose foods based on how they make me feel. While sometimes a cookie is what's gonna make me feel amazing and satisfied, sometimes I really just need a fruit or a Greek yogurt or a green salad because I know that I feel so good when I give my body refreshing and satisfying foods like that. In my opinion, I think every food is a healthy food because to be healthy and happy i need a balance of ice cream and peanut butter and salad in my life <laughs> Some days, I'll look in the mirror and love what I see. I smile and think, yes, I'm proud of you, body. Thank you for everything you do for me. Are you ready to go on a walk then? Hello, everyone. Oh, the best that we've made. And you 
Why are you using my princess Polly bed? Everyone in the family uses my princess Polly bed. And then sometimes, maybe after one too many cookies, or stepping on the scale, or not working out for a while, or just after a bad day. I'll look again and everything sticks out. I see only what I don't want to see. I would squeeze and turn and look at myself in disgust from every angle and be defeated by my own reflection. What's real, what's not, I honestly didn't even know. But when this happened to me this time, after a few tears, I told myself, this is okay. It happens, it's normal. Just breathe. And I would go and I would do something that makes me appreciate my body again. I'd go for a walk, talk to a friend, take a long, long shower, or cook with my mom, and I just try to fall back in love with life. I do more of what I love to remind myself that beauty is measured in who we are, what we do, who we surround ourselves with, the amazing foods we can eat. Wow, the pink is all gone. And the world around us, not by a reflection or a number or a size that stares back at us. Okay guys, what do we want to eat? Burgers, quesadillas, pork chop. Do that, mate. Do the same. Oh, you want to do this one? Okay, let's do this I one. love HelloFresh. My mom loves HelloFresh. My father loves HelloFresh. It's just a fun cooking activity that we can all do together. Oh, fun. This is so cool. First, preheat oven to 450 degrees. And if you go to HelloFresh.com, you can use the code LINDA80 to get $80 off five boxes and free shipping on your first box. There are a ridiculous amount of recipes to choose from, but for tonight, we chose to make the chicken burger. You know, I never feel like I have enough time in a day to cook dinner with my mom anymore with school starting up, which is something I love to do so much. But with HelloFresh, it only takes 30 minutes, and if we buy quick and easy options, it's literally only 20 minutes for an entire recipe. HelloFresh makes it so easy and stress-free, and it all comes pre-packaged in the perfect serving size to feed the whole fam. It saves so much time, and you don't have to go to the grocery store. Oh, you guys have heard so many people rave about them, but I finally understand the hype. There's honestly meals for everyone, vegetarian, family friendly, quick and easy, you name it. I'm not even kidding. You have to go try this recipe. So go to hellofresh.com, use the code LINDA80 for $80 off five boxes and free shipping on your first box. Is it good? Very good. It's in your hair. Oh my God. Very <laughs> good. Wow, that looks crazy. Mmm, that's actually good. That's just 10, 10. Yeah. The sauce is really good. Sweet potato is good. Yeah, sweet potato is so good. Oh my god. Sweet potato is so good. Mm. Time saving. Seasoning. The seasoning is perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Hello Fresh. Thank you, Hello Fresh. So, when did I begin to see changes? When I changed my mindset. Whenever I begin to prioritize myself and my own health, I see my strength instead of my reflection. I see my progress through more than just abs. It doesn't matter what weight I'm at or how much fat I have in my arms, I instantly feel better about myself, how I look, how I feel, because I know I'm doing everything I can do for my body. And when you take care of your body, your body's gonna take care of you back. And it never feels bad to, you know, take care of yourself. So come on up, baby, you're an atlas Let me crash there like a tablet Tell me what to do last summer You could have it all right I give it up like Oh, baby, you're an atlas Let me crash there like a tablet Tell me what to do Hello! Hi, Lila! Do you think you remember? Do you think you remember? Lila, you gotta chill out. This is like my Hi. favorite challenge.
that I'm thick like Milo. No, Milo's thick like sexy thick. So you're sexy thick. Where do you get the legs? Legs? <laughs> I get these legs? What is this big ball? It's like a baby's ball. That's too much information. She doesn't even shave. I've never shaved, ever. No, Linda shaved me. That's also too much information. <laughs> what if I gain weight? What if I look worse in pictures? What if people will be able to tell? No one will like me if I weigh more. I will be so self-conscious. But the thing is, if this was my mindset, I wasn't confident to begin with. Wait, I know my body will deal with it. It will still keep working for me and do what it needs to take care of me and it's still your body no matter what weight. You still have to eat no matter what weight. Be proud of what your body does for you because your body deserves your attention and kindness. Although your body won't judge you for gaining or losing a little bit of weight, your body doesn't want to be deprived or overstuffed every night. Your body probably doesn't want you to push it to work out for four hours to burn off yesterday's delicious desserts. Eat, sleep, relax, enjoy food, enjoy life, find happiness because you can do all of those things no matter what weight you are. The best thing you can do as a freshman or a student or just in life is just walk away from comparison. Don't compare yourself to that girl over there, this friend, that friend. Don't compare your body today to your body yesterday. If we care for our bodies, they'll take care of us back. In the end, I know it's still difficult no matter if you're on a journey of weight loss, weight gain, self-love, or practicing intuitive eating. It's hard. But Weight doesn't have to be everything. Weight isn't everything. We aren't going to be freshmen forever. You're not going to have the freshman 15 forever. You're not going to stay the same weight forever. You have to accept change instead of fearing it and be confident enough to know that you can deal with it. Fat these blueberries. Oh my god. Fat, fat blueberry. My friend got me this lip mask multiple years ago. Don't know if it's expired. What? Oh my god. Damn, I think it's actually more moisturized. <laughs> Bye Milo! The don't they like improve their dough. So good. Why is it huge? Mmm. Can't not be good. That's so good. That's fuck. I'll still eat it. So good. Holy God. Holy God. Holy. Play that one just one more time. Guys, this one hit. Holy God. Oh my God. So if I could tell my past self, the one that was afraid to gain weight, the one that would never eat past 8 o'clock, the one that stepped on the scale every morning, the one that feared change, I would say don't let the number ruin your days. Linda, school is stressful and you deserve that cookie or a whole box of pizza if that's what your body wants. But also remember to eat the foods that make you feel healthier because it will also make you feel good too. Spend less time staring at your body in the mirror and more time creating relationships and experiencing life. Do something active every day that fills your heart and feeds your soul. Say yes to dinners and movies and bubble tea and trust yourself. Just enjoy the process, the challenges, the stresses. Learn to laugh it off, relax, embrace change. Accept that you're human and your body is imperfect and your body is beautiful and that your body is yours. That eating a whole box of pizza with a friend, no matter what what weight you are is beautiful. Health means something different to everyone, but whatever health means to you, take time out of today to do that. Whether it be baking, going on a walk, shopping, meditating, or eating some good food with some good friends. What is one food that I don't like? Who <laughs> studied the hardest in school?
It's not even funny. So guys, don't be afraid to prioritize your health. Don't be afraid to thank your body. Don't forget to love your life. And I'll see you guys next time. We're coming alive. We're coming alive.